Hi, this is Peter from Payne, and you're watching TV Rock Live. Uh, first of all, the, the Stockholm show was the last show uh, on the tour we did in um, the You Only Live Twice tour. So we had everything set up, you know, and we said, hey, let's, let's film it and see what it looks like, you know. And it uh, <clears throat> came out really good, but it was kind of boring. So we start putting in things in between songs, you know, backstage stuff, crazy shit, you know. And uh, also we said, like, we, we need one festival show as well to put in there to, you know, get some more stuff in there. No, but we kind of gained a lot of audience from them, you know, so I guess we... Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, we, we've done like two tours with them now, you know, plus this UK thing. And uh, yeah, in, increase uh, the interest of, of our band. So it's very positive, I think. Yeah, it's just like things you see on TV or things that you experience yourself or your own thoughts, you know, like... Um, it's just everyday life. I mean, you know, pain is supposed to be really part of music, you know? And uh, so the lyrics becomes a little bit more normal also as well, you know? I don't want people to sit with lexicon and try to figure out what I'm trying to say, you know? It's just everyday thing, you know? Well, we didn't have too much uh, choice uh, on the first... Uh, uh, show we filmed, you know, because that was part of the European tour. Mm -hmm. So there we already had like 20 songs or something like that, you know, we took away a couple. And then uh, when we did uh, the festival a couple of months later, we looked on what we did on, on the, the other concert and then we just added new stuff, new songs on that we hadn't played for a while. So I think overall it's over, I don't know, maybe 25 songs, I think. Yeah, uh, I mean, for us, France is the best country, actually, for pain. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is, you know. We have our own fan club here and everything, and, you know, people are really pushing it, you know, and we gain more and more fans all the time, you know, so we're very grateful for what, what we get here when we come to France. So that's really cool. They're pushing it to the limit what you can do on stage and not, you know. Uh, Kiss and Iron Maiden, they're just doing the same shit they've been doing for 20, 30 years, you know. And it's just routine. And then you're in this wheel again, you know. That's, I don't know, for me it, be, it becomes very boring. Every time when you see a new Ram, Rammstein tour, you have a different stage, you have like more insane stuff happening, you know, and they, they're definitely pushing it all the time. You know? Yeah, I mean, good for him and good for Slayer, you know, and uh, also hope he has some time for Exodus as well, you know, because, uh, you know, both of those bands are very influenced. Uh, we, I am influenced by both bands, you know, since, yeah, 83, 84, 85, you know, so uh, let's see what happens. I, I'm sure Exodus is still going to happen, you know, because I don't think Slayer is going to, you know, tour 24-7, you know. Hey, never ask politic by a um, musician, you know? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, I write music and that's what I do, you know? I really don't give a shit of what's happening in the world, to be honest. Yeah. Only in what's happening in my little world. <laughs> uh, just got done with the new Amorphous album. There's a few adjustments I have to do when I get home for mixing, but... Uh, and then I start with the Hypocrisy album, you know. I guess, you know, with Pain, we... No, with Hypocrisy first, we go to uh, Japan and uh, Australia. And then uh, in February, Pain is going back to UK. 